morning, everybody. It's Dirk. Uh, just wanted to check in real quick. It is the uh, 18th, Monday the 18th. It's the in the evening. It's about 7 p.m. Um, I just uh, arrived at the hotel for orientation, and uh, they set us up in the uh, Best, Best Western, uh, North Indiana, Best Western, something like that. Uh, I don't exactly remember. Um, drive down here was about an hour and a half, straight shot down the highway, uh, 294 to uh, you know the junction of 80 and 94 and 294, uh, and then you know scooting on over the Indiana border uh, and just across the border here we are. Um, so I just checked into the hotel, uh, just kind of get myself situated. This will be my home for the next couple weeks, and uh, yeah, you know, nice nice hotel. Uh, you know, certainly not super fancy or anything like that, but, you know, of course I wasn't expecting that, uh, but it's clean. Um, it was an older hotel that, uh, that's been renovated. Um, so, you know, it's nice. Um, let me see here if I can flip this around. Uh, huh. Well, it was a relatively new phone. I thought I could flip it around, but I guess not. Um, so, that's the room. And, uh, you know, nothing super fancy, but, uh, it's nice. Um, got two two double beds. Uh, got a little. Let's see here. Sorry about that. Got a little desk over here. Um, and let's flip around. There are the beds. Uh, that's where I was just sitting. Uh, over there. Yeah. Here we go. And. Uh, Come around here. We've got a uh, not a bad little setup, a little dresser drawer, a pretty decent sized fridge. Um, eventually, I'd like to have a fridge about that size in the truck if I can. Uh, you know, got the fridge, microwave, TV, and uh, I got a little complimentary coffee thing. Although I brought, <laughs> call me crazy. I, I brought my own coffee machine because <laughs> that's important to me. Um, and then, you know, nice little bathroom. Um, you know, it's got everything you need. Shower over there. So, so yeah, this will do. Um, you know, nothing fancy. I'm not going to be spending much time here um, other than uh, sleeping. Uh, you know, after training, come back and uh, eat something in the uh, in the evening and go to sleep probably. So uh, anyway, just wanted to check in. Uh, thus begins my journey. Talk to you later. Okay, it's 5:30 in the morning. No human being should have to be up this early. <sighs> However, it's day number one of Schneider orientation, so the bus picks us up at six. Uh, yeah. Um, good thing I had my trusty little coffee maker, uh, so I didn't have to leave my room to go anywhere and do anything. Force feeding myself some oatmeal. <sighs> Here we go. Well, I made it. Got to the first day of orientation on time. And uh, been in there for hours and hours and just taking my first break. And uh, looking at the sea of Schneider trucks. Check in later. Okay, well that makes Schneider orientation day one uh, is now complete. Uh, I survived it. <laughs> oh boy, am I tired. Um, anyway, I uh, had a rough time sleeping last night, so I think I maybe got about three hours of sleep, maybe four at best. Um, you know, just getting used to all the noises here in the hotel. Um, but uh, yeah, up at the, the, the butt crack of dawn and, uh, you know, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And, uh, but everybody over there at, uh, at Schneider, very nice people. Um, I have my, the, the orientation class size is nine people, uh, which I think is, is, is a bit small for them, uh, but, you know, makes sense. It's January. So um, <laughs> only crazy people like me and the people I'm with want to go and train on trucks outside in January in Chicago. Uh, or Gary, Indiana, sorry. Um, <clears throat> but it was a, a full day, a very full day. Uh, you know, we had one break for lunch, and other than that, we were just go, 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 go. Um, you know, 
did a, a pee test and a hair follicle test and uh, some sort of a thing where they strap all sorts of sensors all over you and have you do movements to, it's, it's taking computer readings of how your biomechanical systems are working and uh, all, it, it, pretty intense, it was, it was cool stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, learned a lot. Uh, you know, we're already going into logs and, and all sorts of different Schneider policies and how they do stuff. Uh, and they have a very definite way of doing things. That's you hear that nonstop. You know, the Schneider way of doing things. Um, you know, but they've been around for 80 years and they've got a good reputation, actually a stellar reputation for for what they do for safety. So you know, um, there's a method to their madness. So. Uh, tomorrow we're going to have, uh, you know, again, some continuation of classroom stuff, but we're going to be out in the yard already starting tomorrow, uh, for some portion of it. And, um, from what I'm gathering, it's going to be combination classroom and, you know, live in, on and around the trucks from here on out, um, which is great. And, uh, oh, they gave us a, a whole boatload of study stuff and big manual, uh, yeah, nice, nice thick book of stuff <laughs> that we need to learn. Um, but yeah, all cool. Um, our instructor, Mike is a really cool guy. Um, and you know, all the people there are really nice. Um, even the cafeteria, the lunch that we had, uh, they did some fried chicken. It was awesome. Um, so anyway, uh, back at the hotel, I'm exhausted. I'm just going to eat something, putter around a little bit and, and call it a day. Um, so that's the update. Day one down. See ya.